Hello my friends, welcome back to another painting tutorial. Uh, something nice this week. No landscapes, unfortunately, I hope, um, for you. Something different. I'm going to paint, if you can see here next to me, um, a big canvas. I primed this with, um, well, I undercoated it with a dark blue oil paint, okay? So a toned, a tinted canvas, dark, dark blue, purpley black kind of a canvas. I'm going to paint a lovely um, parrot. Big, big parrot, big long tail coming down, um, yellow, blue, um, with big feathers, the wings sprung out and the tail coming down. So a big, big portrait of a parrot, lovely and colourful. I think against this dark background, it's going to look really stunning. And then a lovely frame on that. So I thought I'd try something different this week. Something just to loosen up um, with the palette knife even. Lots of colour, put lots of thick colour on there. Get some lovely brush marks. Um, it's going to be fun. I really think this is going to be a fun one for you to try. So yes, let's go and have a bit of fun with this, my friends. Don't go anywhere. Okay, my friends, here we go. And there is a reference photograph. Now, how about that for a tutorial? Isn't that lovely? Something completely, completely different. So, um, let me explain. It's a 16 by 20 canvas. I primed it once with a white undercoat. I rubbed it down with some sandpaper and I gave it a very watery, tinned out wash of black. Then I put some phthalo blue through that. I kept going and going and going, constantly smoothing it out. Then I added a touch of white into the blue down here and I kind of pushed it through and I softened it all in. Um, that gives it a lovely, now I don't know if you can see that, but it gives it a lovely kind of um, a rich dark kind of glow in the background and that's what I'm after. It's that kind of glow behind the parrot. On the reference photograph there, if we're looking at that, it probably just looks black to you, but it's a very deep, deep, dark, purpley black kind of a colour. <clears throat> so, let's go. A lot of work to do in this. I'm going to take a, a small pointy brush and I want to do just a quick little sketch. Um, a quick small sketch of the bird, okay? Now let me get my palette knife because... You can see the paint has just run down the palette here ever so slightly. Let me just stick it back up there out of the way. We're going to be using a lot of palette knife work as well in this at the end. So I'm going to take a little colour. Let's just get um, a touch of white, okay? Very thin, lots of turpentine. Just a very thin little coat. And I just want to do a quick sketch of this. Now, I want to get it just right. I don't want to overdo it. It's very difficult deciding where to start with something like this. I think I start where the wing meets the body. So I'm going to go about here, okay? The wing meets the body there and the head, it kind of comes over at a slant like that. Um, it comes over and it turns. Um, I do want to get the scale just right on this for the canvas. I don't want to go too small, but not too big either. I want to get it just right. Um, okay, so. The wing, let's go with the wing, it comes up like that. Uh, just kind of keep this nice and loose, okay? You can keep this nice and loose. You don't have to be absolutely perfect with all of this. Um, I know a lot of people out there would like to use, or they probably do use, drawing um, boards, uh, projectors. So what they do is they project the image um, onto their canvas and they sketch around. Uh, that's a nice way of doing it, but I prefer doing it hand by hand. It's just, it gives you a lot more freedom, I find. Uh, let's just roughly, now the feathers, you can see they kind of disappear into the darkness, don't they? Uh, I prefer to do everything by hand. It just gives that more natural kind of a feeling and it's never quite exactly the same. Now I can't see the beak down here. I can't really see where it stops. So I'm kind of guessing some of this. Um, Let's go down like that, and then it comes down at a little swoop like that. I can make it bigger if we need to as we go along, okay? Uh, let's carry this, a line, imaginary line, down like that, okay? And then it curves and goes down like this. Now, I probably went a bit too big with the board, I think, because I need to leave room for this tail, don't I? So, I probably went a bit big with the board, so let's... Go back in here with the body and we'll 
make the body slightly smaller. That's all you have to do. Very simple. Um, you know, you can adjust things as you go, okay? You don't need to be absolutely pinpoint perfect with all of this. Uh, let's say the, let's see now, let's say the body stops around here, goes up like that, doesn't it? That, this is the yellow line that I'm drawing in now, okay? And it comes around like that. And then the tail swoops down like this, doesn't it? Right down to the very end. And all of these feathers then are coming out like that, all right? And we can... We can add feathers if we like, or we can take feathers off. It's completely up to ourselves. They come right down to a point, don't they? So you can see now I'm just keeping this very loose. Really, really loose. Okay, and another one coming down like that. They actually kind of come right over to the corner here, don't they? They, they all sort of meet in this corner here, all these thicker ones. But look... As we're painting it, we can fill all of these in. So not to worry. You see what I mean? It's just a very loose sketch, that's all. That's all we need. That's more than what we need. Um, the feathers up here, let's see. Now, we have a line of feathers that come around here as well, don't we? They kind of come up like that and then they turn. And again, I don't want to get this absolutely perfect either. It's not going to be perfect. It's never going to be perfect, is it? Let's put a very rough line up where these feathers kind of come in. And you can see it's just lots of feathers coming down, lots of lines like this. Okay? And it's just a reference. Okay, that's all I want. It's a little reference. I will very quickly sketch in the bird. Uh, now, I'm going to leave this line as it was here, okay? Just come out a little bit. And I just want to sketch in on the face where the black is. So the black comes down kind of like that, doesn't it? Then we have this white that comes around and curves around like that. Another bit of black. And then the top of the head kind of comes along like that. There's a bit of green as well in this. It's lovely, isn't it? And I think that's all we need to do. So we're set. Now... I'm standing back and looking at it. Could it have been a bit higher? I'm not sure. But as I have a sketched look, I'm just going to go for it. I think let's just leave it as it is because we could be here for another hour trying to bring this up a half an inch. So let's leave it. Let's start. Okay, brushes. I am going to look at my brushes now and see what brushes I'm going to use for this. I'm definitely going to use this nice flat brush. That's quite nice. I like that for fine feathers and all that kind of thing. So I'll use that. Um, I need another brush just for kind of filling in. So something simple and rough like this I think will do fine as well. Uh, let me see what else I have here. I have another slightly smaller worn brush. That might even work better. So I'm going to go with this brush first. A nice medium flat brush. Let's give it a quick clean. And now let's start going right into some colour. I'm going to start with the body. Let's get some cadmium yellow. And I'm going to use plenty of thick paint for this because cadmium yellow and thalo blue those kind of colors they're very vibrant colors so they have a lot of luminous pigment in them so if i put this on right now as it is the blue will show through and it's just going to look like a green so i'm going to take some naples yellow that will really make it nice and thick and chalky and it will allow the color to cover that blue now in reality I could have maybe just went around the bird with this background, but I wanted to get this lovely pattern right through it, this lovely colour all the way without having to go around all these lines. So I just, I'll just try and get this covered as best I can. I'm going to take some cadmium red into that and then more yellow. So I'm building up now a nice thick, creamy, rich colour. Nice, thick, creamy, creamy colour. More cadmium yellow, lots more of that. So let's just try this now and see how this looks so far. It's like um, a very dull kind of an orange, okay? It's a very, it's not a very, very rich, bright, bright color. 
let's just fill that in with this color so you can see now you see the way I'm doing that look and you can see the blue coming through now a lot of people will have trouble with that so what I'm going to do is take some white into that and cadmium yellow the white will automatically make this really thick and opaque so there that's a bit better now isn't it and we may have to go over this a couple of times but for now let's just call this a base coat all right a nice base coat and it probably could have even gotten away without using um thinners in this i maybe should have just left it let's go right into some cadmium yellow and get this very rich bright center on the board in here come right down go around there and don't worry about these little white lines okay that i made a mistake earlier i'll just go over these with a little bit of dark blue later on and just get rid of all of those so we have this lovely yellow coming in like that coming down now i'm going to clean my brush and add some nice rich dark orange in there you can see there's a lovely rich orange just in at the edge in there isn't there cadmium yellow and cadmium red let's try some of that and let's put a little bit of that in there like that and i'm going to soften all of these out the trick i suppose really is just softening okay you may find it difficult to soften and you can see the under color kind of coming through that may be a little bit tricky for you um but you can leave it dry and add more paint later now i'm going right into thick paint here okay just thick paint on its own nothing else and just going along the edge like that and go up here a little with that color and what i'm going to do for this then is you see the way i'm giving it lots of little flicks and that just creates some texture on the feathers it just gives you the impression of little bunches of feathers okay so i'm putting this now over that last layer i just did i'll go right into cadmium yellow nice rich cadmium yellow in here and that's really going to stand out on the canvas isn't it when it's finished little small flicks look there we go okay i'll clean my brush again so it's starting already starting to jump off of this canvas i'm going to take now i have a dry brush cadmium yellow and a little cadmium red and i'm going to start putting in the feathers up here okay i'm just going to start working these into the body now the trick obviously you can see because i have a dark blue background it may make that yellow look kind of making like almost like a muddy green going through it but just keep going i'm going to take a little cyanide just keep going and that's quite a nice color now isn't it burnt cyanide with cadmium yellow and a hint of cadmium red okay that'll give us a nice warm warm orange look at that a nice rich browny kind of an orange And I'm simply just putting in lots of little flicks like this with my brush, okay? Another very important aspect when painting birds and stuff like that is to follow the line <clears throat> and the direction of the feathers. So you can see the direction of the feathers in here is kind of coming outwards and down. So I'm going to kind of flick it outwards like that as it comes up. And as it comes down, I'm going to start flicking it downwards, you see? So that gives you a lovely direction of the feathers little burnt cyanide cadmium yellow we have a lovely burnt cyanide in there don't we burnt cyanide with cadmium yellow it's a wonderful color you can see it just in there that rich dark color and it tends to get darker as it comes up i'm going to soften it in slightly to the board here just so it's not a sharp line okay and you can flick it upwards now you can have a lot of fun when painting like this you can really learn about your brush technique you really can now i've taken some more cadmium red with the burnt sienna up here because i think that will really give it a lovely contrast in under the wing up there okay and just leave that kind of taper down 
and soften. Now let's bring all of this back out here, look. You see what I'm doing? It's just very simply just putting flicks with my brush on edge. Okay, my brush is sideways, my flat brush, you can see it's not perfectly flat, but just flicking it outwards. And I just want to get the direction. And what's happening now is, <clears throat> as I'm painting, it's picking up all those different colours as I go along. You see? And they're kind of mixing on the canvas really, really nicely. So look how much we've done now so far. Isn't that wonderful? Just in the space of five minutes. It's just so easy. Um, now, I want to go in and get some dark ones up here. Uh, so, actually, no, I won't. I'll get my flat brush next, okay? Let's move to my flat brush. Nice sharp edge, okay? It's really chiseled edge brush. Let's just dampen it for a moment, give it a dry. And I want to go into some cadmium red with burnt sienna. And I'm going to go down along here and just give that a nice rich dark down in there. And then just, you see the way I'm kind of just flicking it outwards, look. Out into that yellow, just leaving it all mix. I'll take some more burnt sienna, some cadmium red, and a tiny hint of black. And remember now, I'm only using tiny, tiny amounts of colour, okay? There's no point in you going to fill your brush up completely with lots and lots of colour. There's no point. Just use little tiny touches of colour. So I'm getting a nice dark shadow up there under that wing, okay? And I can even take a hint of magenta in that. The magenta warming it up. You see? Going up here into that wing. I'm just using the edge of my brush and giving it lots of little flicks. You see that? Lots of little tiny flicks. I'll use some of that colour for down here. I think that's a really nice colour. So I'm going to use it for down here. Softening it outwards, the edge of the brush. And you can use a small pointy brush for this now as well if you like. Okay? It's completely up to yourself. But um, I like kind of trying with these flat brushes, they're really nice. Now, that'll do for now. I think I'll just leave it as it is, just for a moment. I could maybe even come in a little bit more with a rich orange. So I'll take some cadmium yellow and a little cadmium red. I think a rich orange in here. Just to soften it through, just to create a bit of a curve on the body, okay? Just a little, so it doesn't look just completely flat. A little bit of a curve, following it down, you see? F remember, just follow the direction of those feathers down. Okay. Right, we leave it at that. And we still have lots of work to do now, lots of darks and all that kind of thing. But it's going to be so much fun. I want to leave all the lovely blues till the very end. Let's go and finish this wing. Now, it goes into a kind of a sandy colour, doesn't it? Um, so I'm going to try, maybe with a touch of turpentine, Naples yellow, burnt sienna. Let me mix those two first. Plenty of paint, don't be shy with the paint. A little cadmium yellow. So just let me take a look at this now, and maybe a hint of black. A tiny, tiny hint of black. You don't want this going green, so let's take more cyanide and more Naples yellow. It's a kind of a sandy, browny sandy colour, isn't it, to start with? So I think I'll start with that colour first and add yellow into it then. So let's go up and start going here. Like that. Now again, don't worry about softening everything together, we can do that in a moment. Uh, we have another one here, coming in like that. And as, as well as that, all these little points and edges, we do that with the fine brush as well. 
So I'm just kind of, this is the filling in stage really now, okay? I just want to get all of these filled in. I'm going to put a couple more just to really make it full. And it's simply a case of just keep going with that all the way down, okay? And again, don't worry about those fine pointy edges. I will do those with my pointy brush in a moment, okay? Um, let's go down here and let's start with this one. You can see I'm just using my brush and I'm flicking it inwards. Look, that's all. Just as simple as that. Soften them in a little. I generally like to tend to start working with the brighter colours first and then work in darker colours. So you can see that there's lots of darks in there, isn't there? I'll put those in very soon. I just want to get the bulk of this wing filled in. All right, the bulk. So I'll keep going. A little more cadmium yellow with some Naples yellow. Start adding some of that in. So that's not a bad wing now, is it? So far, not a bad wing at all. And doesn't that stand up beautiful on that background? Okay, I'm going to start adding some darks into this. I want to mix a nice dark, dark, straw colour. I'm going to go off with Burnt Sienna. Some black. So that's a nice dark straw colour. A little Naples yellow, shall we try it? And just keep adding little amounts of each until you get what you want. Maybe a hint of cadmium red, just to warm it ever so slightly, okay? Cadmium red in there, more burnt sienna. Let's start putting in some darks into these. And this is not the final stage either, okay? I will be going with my pointy brush later on, putting lots of fine little dark details in here but let's just for now let's just concentrate on getting some of these darkened down just slightly take a little bit more black um i go up here and i start popping in softening it in Put another one here, I think. I'll take some cyan, some black, some cadmium red. And I want to really darken this one. Couple here. So we're toning it down however so slightly, you see that? And it's simply brush strokes, little flick. Just remember, follow the direction of those feathers. That will tell you which way they're going. I'm going to take some magenta and some black. I'm going to go with that for now. And out here, I want to really darken those down. You can see the way they almost disappear into that background. So I'm just going to darken some of these way down out here. And of course the beauty of it being oils is that it just naturally softens together as you're going, doesn't it? Isn't that lovely? Now I'll take a bit more black and more magenta and I'll go even darker. So, and you really only need to keep this simple, okay? You can, if you like, 
go adding lots of little lines and stuff like that so i'll show you for example if you wanted to really go for lots of detail and you wanted to really go to town with all of this oh, i have paint on that don't worry you could go along and just go like this add lots of little feathers like this look just pull it down or you could even use a fan brush now as well for this kind of work with lots of tiny little strokes of the fan brush you could if you wanted okay but that's just a lot of work and it's very tricky to get something like that right so I prefer the swooping approach I think it just works better okay come down I'm going to darken it again as it comes down further some more magenta cadmium red and black very rich dark kind of a brown okay swoop them up there into the underside of that bird then black you can see now we already have a lovely roughly feathered kind of a look on the bird isn't that lovely so um okay let me have a look here now and see how we're going with this i'm going to add some cadmium red um cadmium red with cyana just along here just to give it a little warmth okay and i'm going to just simply give a little flicks with the brush just in under there little flicks okay see little small flicks And that's giving the rest of the board time to kind of set slightly on the canvas so when i go back to that then it's going to be much easier to add little flicks of color okay you see so it, you're, you're giving the the oil paint time to kind of stick to the canvas and set on the canvas ever so slightly there we go now i go along here and a little touch of it here and there look just to Give it a bit of shape, that kind of thing. Then it'll go dark. Take a bit of red in there. Or a bit of black with the red. And let's go nice and dark in under here. And maybe add just a touch of darkness here and there. Just on that. It's really just to give a little contrast here and there, that's all. Understand what I mean? So it's not all just a flat colour. Does that make sense? Now, I'm going to stop and go up to my small pointy brush. I have a very, very small pointy brush here. Number zero. And I'm going to take some... Uh, let me see, let's get some black hair first and a little bit of turpentine in this then, okay? Just to help it flow. A little black with that red. It's almost pretty much black. It's just a little touch of warmth in with the black, okay? And I want to go down and start putting little small little details just finishing off the edges of some of those feathers okay just like that okay and we can go up here we can i'm going to use my stick i think it might make life a little easier for me there that's better and go up here and a little like that you see Just finishing off the edges of those feathers, the tips. Right, I'll come along, go on top of some of those. Just to push each one back slightly. Does that make sense? So I just want to push some of them back ever so slightly. So they're almost like overlapping, okay? 
that's the idea. I hope I'm getting that idea, but if not, it doesn't matter. This is still a huge amount of fun to try. And you should, honestly, you should try this. It's just a nice loose way of getting to know your brushes and um, brush strokes and directions, that kind of thing. It's lovely and loose. So I would recommend, I do love trying stuff like this every now and then, um, just to kind of try something different, I suppose. Helps you loosen up a little bit. Okay. And it's not perfect. I know it's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. That's not the point of the painting. The point of the painting is just to show a splash of color on the canvas. Okay. That's all. That's all I want to do. I'm going to take some black, thick black. I'm going to go up here and just give a nice shadow or the suggestion of a shadow up there. And I put a little bit of black down here behind one of those feathers just to show there's something being cast a shadow down there. Okay, just like that. Right here. Now, that's pretty much most of it done. Okay, really. I just want to go with a little bit of warm colour in here and there, okay, just to add little touches of detail. I will be putting lots of rich bright yellows across this for the palette knife as well. So keep watching for that, it's going to be real fun. I'm going to move on and I'm going to do the head. Now, would you like me to zoom in for the head for you or can you see okay? I think you could see okay, can you? Sometimes I don't like going at these cameras because I could press a button, turn it off by accident or whatever and the whole thing is ruined. So I tend to shy away from... Um, that kind of thing, okay, touching the camera but, and, and, all, and all that kind of carry on. So let me just leave it as it is. I'm going to mix um, a nice white. Just Let's just take pure white. And let's go in here and fill in this section of the board here, the face. Nice thick titanium white. goes around the eye. I'll fill in the whole eye actually and I can put the eye on top of the white then, okay? There we go. At this stage it's pretty much painting by numbers. So just keep inside the lines. That's all you have to do. Painting by numbers. That's how I started out painting by numbers. My mother bought me a painting by numbers and I was just hooked ever since. I just loved every minute of it. And I painted a little dog. It was like a little collie or you know those Lassie dogs from the movie, from the series Lassie years ago. Um, it was one of those dogs and I was just hooked. I was so proud that I painted this little dog and I was so happy. And my mother was so happy as well. And um, I was hooked ever since. I just had to keep going. Now I'm going to go in under here, a little bit of black coming along here. So we go across like that. Okay. Might be okay for you. And make this slightly thicker. And up here around the eye like that. Oh, I am going to take a little hint of blue with white. And I just want to catch up around the tip. Soften it down. We'll get some nice little highlights on that now shortly, okay? Very, very shortly. There we go. Now I need to, I think I need to straighten the beak slightly here. 
I can't see the BQC on the photograph properly because it's in darkness. So I think it's probably a bit more like that, isn't it? A bit more straight. Let's go with that. Next, I'm going to fill in that lovely green. Okay, let's mix a beautiful, vivid green for this. Let's go with some cadmium yellow. And a hint of phthalo blue. It's a very, very bright green, isn't it? Plenty of cadmium yellow in there. Let's try this. Ah, that's nice now, isn't it? I like that. Let's just simply fill this in. Goes into a blue, doesn't it? Lovely little bit of blue down there. Or up here, should I say. Beautiful blue. So let's just, as we go, let's just add a bit of blue into this. And I'll take a bit of white. I'll add all the final highlights later, all right? So don't worry about highlights. Let's just lighten it a bit. Okay. There we go. I'm going to darken over by this side slightly. Add a bit of black in there. Soften it out. Add another bit more. Like that. Take another rich bit of black. There we are. Then I'm going to get some blue and some white. Thalo blue, lots of white. It's a very, very whitey blue up there, isn't it? Up on top. Let's go up here with this very white blue. Soften it back in. It's all just a case of putting on colour and softening it in. That's really all it is. Okay? Don't be shy. Try it. Soften it down, around a little curve. Okay. Now while I have that blue on the brush, I'm going to go over here and add a little highlight. To the beak. Just a little bit. Just like that. I think that's enough. Now, let's do the eye, shall we? Um, it's just fairly straightforward, really. I think it's very straightforward. If I'm going, to, I'm going to zoom in on the photograph just slightly now, just for a moment. I'm going to put in a nice orange, a kind of a ready eye. A bit of a ready eye in, in this guy, isn't there? Let's take a bit of yellow and a bit of red. And get a nice thick orange. And let's start with a little orange like this, okay? Just like that. Doesn't have to be perfect at all, by any means. Then, a little dab of black right in the middle for the pupil. Okay, then let's just get some thin black paint on the tip of our pointy brush and it's just basically, you see all these lines, some lovely lines going around, so we have a nice one 
going like that. Clean the brush each time. And we have another couple swooping underneath. The eye, like that. One there. And another thin one. There, like that. A couple of little bits coming down here. You can see where they kind of meet and join up. And, okay. Yeah, that's not bad. I think that's fairly okay. Happy enough with that. Okay, then I see a little hint of pink. I do see a touch of pink up here. Just by, I'm guessing the nose or something like that. You might not be able to see that now, okay, but it's there. It's there anyway. Okay, I'm going to take a tiny bit of black and I'm going to go around this orange with the tiniest bit of black on the tip of my brush if I can get a small tiny line it's just to set it apart from the white that's all it's really all it is um, so I think we're pretty much done up there let's move on to the blues down here um, I'll take another brush so now we're going to start working with blues. I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to turn my tissue because look at this. Look at that. So I'll turn it nice clean back on the tissue. I go for my flat brush that I had earlier. All right. And I'm also going to change my turpentine just to keep it nice and clean. So soak it up, clean it on the tissue. Let's pop another little drop of Turpentine with linseed oil in there. Little drop of linseed oil, that's all, not too much. And let's go and do this blue. Now, the camera is okay, I hope. I hope you can see right down to the bottom of that, you can. Let's mix some blues up. <clears throat> let's go with phthalo blue. I think just phthalo blue with white, really. That's probably the best way to go about it. Phthalo blue with white. So I'll start off now with a nice medium shade. I won't go too light or too dark, okay? Nice medium shade. Maybe a hint of magenta. I think just to give it that slightly richer, bluey kind of a feel to it. Uh, let's, let's have a look at that. Okay. Let's go another little bit. I'm using lots of thick paint now just really to cover this canvas nicely. Okay, now I'm just going to stop and have a look. Yeah, I think I'll darken it slightly. Let's go a little richer. Come on, let's have a bit of fun. Don't be afraid. It's only paint. We can't ruin it really. Let's give it a good swoop up and stop. And let's get another one up there. So you can see as I'm going up, the lines are getting thicker and thicker. I'm just pressing down harder on my brush, that's all. Um, I go to this bright one, or this big long one, rather, out here. Let's go to that. Leave that come up like so. And I just simply put in a few just to fill this in you can add more if you want or add less it's up to yourself completely up to yourself now let me take some more dark some more rich blue and a hint of magenta I think the magenta just gives it that richness Let's go up here and fill this in. Now I know there's a lot of green in this blue up here. I'll put that in as well, don't worry. A bit of blue on the canvas there, but that's fine. That is okay. Also, 
up along the top of that wing there's some beautiful hints of blue and that's really complementing those colours isn't it let me get some of that rich blue and put that up there look so I'm going to go with a hint of it just out along the edge that wing there and don't worry it's not the final brush stroke I'm just getting hints of it in here and there while well, I have this on my brush okay and a couple of little bits there does it not really complement the painting no okay so next thing I'm gonna do is take some real dark blue real of that same mix just very very dark magenta and some phthalo blue lots of phthalo blue I want to start at the bottom of those feathers and just darken them towards the tips okay now you can see that lovely sharp edge I have that's what you want let's go down and start pulling some dark in like that okay just darkening the ends ever so slightly this one here is very dark isn't it I might mix a really dark shade for that one in a moment it's all just about adding layer after layer okay that's what it is for me it's just layer after layer after layer now lots more phthalo blue some magenta and even a hint of black let's give it a real dark deep blue okay I'll move on to my smaller brush my really small pointy little brush there it is actually what I will do first is with my little round brush I'm gonna darken this one very very dark I'm gonna get some phthalo blue with some magenta and hint of black okay tiniest hint of black and I just want to darken this really really dark because It's really dark, isn't it? This one, just a little. And I go along this one here. I just want to sort of separate them ever so slightly see what I mean just give them a little something in between my next job is to add that luminous green into this I'm just going to take some white mix it in with that bright whitey color I had there make that a nice bright luminous kind of a green I'm going to soften it in here okay and soften it down even into some of those feathers at the bottom look how about that I can see I need to bring that yellow across a little bit more so I'm going to bring that bright color over here just a little bit and you could almost if you want just soften them very gently in little flicks that just helps tie everything together okay just little small flicks look small small flicks upwards doesn't that work I think that works a little better doesn't it and we can even do the same down here after this really then it's kind of down to putting in lots of little not little details but for example get some black and some blue 
and it'll just you know let's pop a couple of real dark lines down around these and we could also have a couple of little lines going into it like that almost like the feathers splitting outwards so it's showing that dark background here and there and you could pull some of these out as well look just like that because the feathers so there's going to be little bits of it sticking out here and there isn't there It's not going to be absolutely perfect, is it? The feather. It's going to be little bits sticking out. It is a parrot, so there's lots of feathers on this. Isn't that better? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is take some white with some blue and add some highlights to some of these. Stalo blue, lots of white. Get a nice, real bright, bright, whitey blue. And I just want to look little flicks here and there. You see? Um, I'll put one on the end of this. So in other words, it's just catching the light here and there and already now it's just adding a bit of movement into the feathers isn't it now i see a bit of black a little bit of black down here just a little touch of black creeping into the bird here and there and by the way we can't see the claws the claws are kind of hidden aren't they in behind the bird so it's just a, this is just a kind of a suggestion of just some shadows and bits and pieces like that in under some of these feathers just at the bottom here that's all and I put a little bit of shadow up there there we go, there we go. So how is this my friends? How is this looking so far? Okay, I'm going to stand back. I'm going to go up here and do a little bit of work up there. I'm going to take some of that real deep, deep blue. Thalo blue and magenta. And I'm going to pop some of that in just here and there on the edges of some of those so what it looks like to me is <clears throat> um, on the front of the wing is kind of a bluey green and on the underside it's a yellow so these touches of blue are from the opposite wing showing behind okay that's what I think it is now if I'm wrong correct me please do but I think that's what it could be. So a nice rich dark blue. Let's go up here now and pop some of that up along that. Plenty of magenta. I'm making it very purpley. Like so. I'll make this one nice and big up here. Almost like a separate feather coming out. And perhaps this one as well. Just be careful to avoid any of those greens. Now I'm going to add a little white into that colour. Magenta yellow and white and I want to just hit a little
highlight here and there. See that? So for example, you can see a little bit of a highlight on this one. Just here and there. Okay. We are going nicely, aren't we? And everywhere, especially with a subject like this, everywhere you look, you see something that needs to be fixed. So, for example, I'm going to just put a little black along the tips of some of these feathers up here, just to separate them from the back. And I think anybody at home now could do this. I think anybody could. Just find the courage to try it, okay? Don't be afraid. As I keep saying, it's only paint, okay? It's not going to hurt you. If you make a mistake, you can just leave it dry and fix it. Or you could just take some tissue and scrub it off. Prime the canvas again and try it again. So don't be afraid to try, please. I had no idea if this was going to turn out nice or not nice or whatever. I had no idea because these videos I do here, everything is live. If I make a mess, you're going to see it. End of story. You really are. And that's why I like to say my tutorials are honest. They're just normal, honest tutorials. If, you, if I make a mistake, you're going to see it. That's just the way I like to operate. Okay, a little bit of black on the end of this wing here. Coming in. <clears throat> okay, how's this looking? So far, so good, yes? I'm going to do some work now on the body and start introducing little feathers and that kind of thing. Um, will I get another brush now? I'm not sure. I have a little brush here, look. A nice small flat brush. <clears throat> I'm waiting on stubbies to come in as well. They're out of stock, so I don't have any stubbies to use right now. Anyway, let's get some cadmium yellow and some white. So just cadmium yellow first on my palette. And I'm going to take some cadmium yellow with lots of white. That's all I want for now, cadmium yellow and white. I'm just making sure my brush is clean as well, by the way. I don't want any green going into this. Plenty of thick paint. And let's start adding some suggestions of feathers look. I just want to really catch some of that light. Just keep your brush nice and clean as you go. There's one or two in here, so I'm just going to go like that, okay? Don't worry, I'll soften it back in. Let's soften them in like this. So you can get the idea, it's just lots of little strokes. Okay? Just lots of little brush strokes. A um, couple of nice bright ones in there as well. Soften them in. Just lots of little strokes just to soften them back in there, you see. So we already have a nice little layer in underneath there. So I'm going to then take some cadmium yellow again and add a hint of, uh, let's get a hint of cyanide. That will give us a slightly warm 
Vialo. I'm going to add some of that colour to some of these feathers as well, just to bring it outwards, so it's not just in one particular area. Understand? Cadmium yellow with some cyan. And it's a lovely warm colour. And I'm going to go out here and just give a little hint of it here and there, you see? Okay. Not bad, is it? I mean, for a 45 minute video, this is looking pretty darn good, I must say. I am pretty happy with this. If I may say so myself. I'm going to take some of that colour and add something down here. Lots of little flicks. Look, you see that? Lots of flicks. go and I'll take some more cyanide cadmium yellow and it might go up here and just give a touch of it there as well here and there I'm going to soften ever so slightly along where the green is okay just to translate it nicer into the feathers you see that just a little just a little now how about we try some palette knife work would that be fun i think we should try some of it and um, let's get some naples some cadmium yellow actually go down here with a little ca burnt sienna cadmium red burnt sienna mix that up there quickly and let's just give it a hint with the knife. The knife will really make the feathers look like they're standing thick off of the board. See what I mean? Like that. I'll take a little cadmium yellow down here again with some white. And I'll pop a little bit of that in here and there. And you could very quickly, if you wanted, turn this into a knife painting. You actually could. It's real fun. Working with the palette knife is just so, you get so much pleasure from it. I'm going to pop a little bit of that in along here. Again, you see, just to add a little texture onto the bird. That's all I want, a little bit of texture. I load the bird to almost jump off of the canvas. I will darken some areas on those wings. So up here, for example, I'm sure you know, I'm just going to take some burnt sienna with cadmium yellow and I want to just darken it in slightly, okay? I don't want to overpower the wing too much and then I might take some cadmium red with that with some burnt cyanide and go up and add some of that in up here Just darken it down a little. Then, lastly, a little black. And a little black in up here. You could even do most of this with a palette knife if you so wished. Okay? That's completely workable as well. So what I must do now is just go up and fix my blue up on top. I can see a beautiful bright blue up there coming up over the wing.
like so. Okay, like that. Then take some thalo blue on its own. All right, then a little black. Underneath that, I'm simply just looking at the photograph, okay? That's all I'm doing. Just look where the colors are, look where the lines are, and just go for it, have some fun. And look, my friends, I think I'm finished. I think we are done. I achieved what I wanted to achieve, I think, um, just to create a nice dramatic painting with lots of colour. That was the goal originally, just to create this beautiful splash of colour on a canvas. I think I've got it. I think I have achieved it. What do you think? Do let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. And honestly, just try it. It's been so much fun, it really has. I've had so much fun now just doing this. I could paint this now. I could stay at this for another hour easily. Tipping away, putting little bits and pieces in. But I don't, I'm not going to overdo it. So I think I'll just leave. Well alone, as they say. No when to stop. Isn't that right? I'll tidy up some of the background and that kind of thing, but in general, my friends, it's been an absolute joy painting this for you. There's one thing now that's just annoying me on this, really annoying me. I just fix this beat a little bit. Give it more shape and possibly add more of a highlight. Yeah. Done and dusted, my friends. We are done and dusted. Let me see if I can zoom in without destroying this tutorial. There we are. Nice and simple. I will put a tiny highlight on the eye. I think just one highlight. Will I put a highlight on it there for you? Show me what I mean. What I need to do is just the tiniest bit of this light blue, or even just white tiniest little dot of white like that and that is it my friends we are done lots of thick palette knife isn't that lovely and we are done look at that just nice and simple I think I've achieved what I wanted let me turn this camera now ever so slightly and say to you thank you so much for watching it's been a huge pleasure painting this for you i hope you've enjoyed it do subscribe if you wish to support me pop over to patreon lots of extra tutorials over there for you to try and you will be supporting me in the process i sincerely appreciate that um okay that's it my friends i must go and get a coffee make a frame for this and um that's one I'm really proud of. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, keep it loose, just have a bit of fun, and I'll see you next week. Take care, my friends, and God bless.